direction, 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 direction. I will be grinding. Direction, direction, direction. 971, good to have you aboard on an absolutely gorgeous Friday afternoon. And today's going to be a big day. Uh, for one, we are celebrating the retirement of Terry. Uh, this is big news. <laughs> and I don't know whether it's a good thing for me, but I get you all to myself now. Um, Terry, we need to jump right in. Yes, we uh, do. If you guys have been cruising around in your busy day and you don't know what's going on, let me clue you in. If you already know what the hell's going on with me in this station, we'll just be patient for a minute. Real simple. Um... The Lions will no longer be on this station headed into next season, and it's been put out there that I'm the centerpiece and the reason why. Okay, cool. So let's get into it a little bit. Debt news, Freep reported, everybody's reporting on it, and I'm here to tell you it's absolutely true, 100% of it. And anything you hear to the contrary, I challenge. Now, I read Elizabeth Parkinson's comments today in both newspapers saying that the Lions simply made a business decision, and I'm just going to go ahead and respectfully Uh, choose to completely disagree with that. This was very personal because what you guys, the listener, don't know is this has always been personal. If this was the first time that my name had come up about getting rid of me, then maybe I'd be jarred by it, but I'm used to this. And my station is the one, ironically enough, that made a business decision. Period. Period. Because this show is more important than the Lions. That's business. Now, why would it be personal and why would they want me fired? Well, here's the problem. This is the problem I've always had with your football team here. They care more what idiots like Terry and I say than they do about the product on their field. Oh, you don't believe me. Well, how about this? Years ago... Bill Keenest, who is the head of public relations, who arguably is the worst possible person you could put in charge of that job, uh, would basically try to get a hold of me on a segment-by-segment basis during my show. You know why Bill doesn't like me? You know why the Lions don't like me? Because I ain't got time for his phone calls. I don't take his phone calls. And if somehow he had the ability to get through to me, I'd hang up on him. Okay, this is an organization that because of the things I say and because of the way we do business, this is an organization that has gotten me off of television. This is an organization that has basically kept me off the air on Sunday from doing an NFL show for you, a show I grew up with, a show I want to do, a Sunday morning NFL show. We talk about the league and we talk about your Lions. They've barred that. Because they don't like the things I say. This is an organization that has systematically made our lives miserable at this station. You want to know why the general manager of your team has never appeared on this radio show in 11 years? Me. You want to know why when I go out and we, we, we are forced to do these training camp shows, you know why I don't want to do them? Because this team's never been interested in helping us. Just this summer, go ahead. We want Amir Abdullah. Don't get him. Oddly enough, he's on the weekend show the day after. This is a petty, juvenile, nasty organization. They don't like me because I don't fear them. I don't care about them. I will not be sucked into being friends with them. I don't care about your players. I don't care about your management. I don't care about any of you. Play the games, win games. I say nice things. Play the games, lose games. I say mean things. That's it. Now, it's very simple. I don't think there's anybody here crying that this football team is not around anymore. Good. Enjoy yourself. But, no, there's nothing to run from for me. There's nothing to, to, no, I'm telling you, it's absolutely true. The Lions aren't here because of me. That's that. But it's always been that. It's never changed. And there are people in that organization that are bad people. There are people in that organization who shouldn't be there. And this organization should probably be more concerned about entertaining you, the fans, than anything people like Terry and I have to say. But see, that's the problem. 
when you break it down and we're honest with each other, this is who and what the Lions are. I believe the line in the Debt News article today was tin-eared, if I am not mistaken, and it's correct. All the phone calls, all the harassment. I remember last year when they played the Dolphins and your field goal unit couldn't make a field goal to save their life. Back when I was on Twitter, I tweeted out, worst field goal unit in the league. And my boss had to sit out there in a driveway getting yelled at by Bill Keenest. This is what they're worried about. Not that they couldn't make a field goal, but because Mike said something inappropriate. So you want me to own it? I'll own it. Yeah, it's my fault primarily. The Lions aren't here. Cool. Fine by me. Because this is an organization that has tried to go after me for a decade. And all the while, hasn't won a division, hasn't won a playoff game, hasn't earned my respect. So why should I care about theirs? And in short, I don't. Now, the question really becomes, what do you think about all this today? You, the people. I mean, clearly the stuff in the freep and the news, it's blowing up. People are really getting after it. Here's what I'll tell you. When teams get in the business of trying to leverage people, get people out, kind of got a problem with it. You don't like what we say, play better. It's simple. And no one's running away or acting as if I haven't said things that were inappropriate in the past. I have, and I've owned those decisions. And damn near paid for it with my job in 09. But I own it. I screwed up. I made apologies to those who would actually take the phone call. The problem with this organization is the pettiness. Oh, you don't like the suit I wore on TV because I picked the Saints to beat you in a playoff game. Yep. This organization and high-ranking officials had screaming matches in this building. Over that. Over a suit. Over the fact that I said you wouldn't win a game. This is your organization. These are your people. And to me, I don't think we look bad in any of this. If the Lions want to take their ball and go home, go. You want to go to a station whose audience is 80 and up? Go. Because you leaving because you don't like me, you just look stupid. We'll continue to do exactly what we do. You don't get into a fight with people who don't run out of air or who don't run out of ink. There's classic ways to get into it with people. Don't get into it with the media. It's stupid. And Terry will back me up for all the wrongs I've done or for how much I've gotten after this team. Man, have I tried. I have tried to be nice. I've tried the dinners, the lunches, the meetings, the charities, the concessions, the sweet nights, all of it. I've tried. But when someone doesn't want to play ball, eventually one side gives up and does the business. The Lions, in short, hate me because I don't care about them. I don't fear them. I don't want to hear them. I don't want to talk to their players. I don't want to talk to them. It's why I don't waste my Sundays down there anymore. And the Lions get upset at this station because this station puts you, the listener, ahead of them. We cater to you, not them. And no, I won't sit here and tell you that I've been able to tell you every single thing I want to do and haven't been able to, but I push it. I've pushed it to my own peril. And sadly, I've dragged Terry along through some of that. Sorry, buddy. It's okay. I survived. But I care about this. I care about doing a good show. And part of that, there's some inconvenient truth to it. And the inconvenience is it impacts my life. So for me, selfishly, today's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day. Because now the gloves can fully come off. Not a cloud in the sky. Now I don't have to go 80% of the way or 90% of the way. I can just open the bag. And for that, cool. But that's what we do. That's who we are. And I've never been interested in protecting teams. I've never been interested in being friends with teams. That's part of the reason I stay away. I don't want to talk to PR lackeys. 
I don't want to be given, quote, our side of the story. I want to talk about the games, and I want to do it honestly, and then I want to go home to my wife who I love and my dogs who I love, and I want to be left the bleep alone. That's what I do. I'm not interested in being your buddy. But if you want to come and you want to come and get my job, well, you better find a way to be more important than what we do here because you're not. So enjoy the ride. You need help packing? I'll bring a box. The reason the Lions want to leave is because the Lions want to control the message. Oh, and don't worry. They will. Plenty of people are willing to bend over. Plenty. So go ahead. Enjoy it. Produce your own shows. Control that message. Spin that propaganda. Do whatever you want to do. You could turn your radio broadcast and whatever you want into Lions.com because people, real people in this city, they see through it and they see exactly what you are. A losing organization with a losing mentality and apparently a real hard-on for me. So I'm going to sleep great tonight. And when you go and lose to the Raiders, I'll be here to laugh at you. So that's that. And we can get into it with the people if you want. But, yeah, no, there's nothing inaccurate that's out there. The only inaccuracy is if you truly believe this wasn't primarily about me. Because, well, it was. And I'm not going to air everything out. That's inappropriate. I don't want to do that. But if I did, we'd have a full four hours. We'd have a full four hours. And you know what? Hell, you can pretty much guarantee I'm going to get my way now. And we're going to do that Sunday morning NFL show. And for all the people down in Allen Park who didn't want me on the air on Sunday morning, well, mm, perhaps you need a different frequency. 248 539 9797. Terry, thoughts? Go ahead. Let's go a couple minutes over. I want Terry's thoughts here. And look, man, you've been on the ride with me. No, I've and I've dragged you into stuff that made your life inconvenient. But go ahead. Let, let, let me confirm a couple things. And, and, and Mike and I have had conversations about things. And, and uh, he would tell me he's got to meet with the Lions, he's got to do this, or he's got to be at a certain place at a certain time. And I've always said, Mike, you're not going to get anything out of it. You're really not. I, I thought that part of it was one-sided, where they wanted you to jump through hoops, and, uh, and you tried to do the best for the station, and I applaud you for that. Um, but as a guy that went to journalism school and uh, you know writes stories mm. and columns and everything. Hall of Famer. Well, just, <laughs> just in Mount Pleasant. No, but – I'm I'm really really against censorship, and and I think what our job is to do is not to make it personal, but to tell the truth, or as we see it, because we all see view things differently, right? And we should be able to say what we want to, without uh, a, a cover, you know, without right. censorship to a certain point. But here's the key: <clears throat> this is a microcosm of what I have warned fans about for years. Yes. Teams think they're buying you. Yes. Now, certain protection should be afforded. But when it comes down to the field of play and what goes on and the opinion, the discourse, that can't be compromised. It can't be. And that's exactly what the Lions want and have always wanted. I also have another philosophy. And, and obviously the Lions disagree with it. Any publicity is good publicity. And some teams take that, and even when they're, they're getting ripped, they understand that's part of it, and, and, right. and that gets people maybe against you and for the team. I remember I had a conversation with Joe Dumars. You know why he traded for Allen Iver Iverson? Because he hated me. Well, that too. <laughs> no, but he said, you know what? We went from getting ripped to nobody talking about Apathy. it. Apathy. I have to do something. All right, let's pick this up in a minute. 248 539 9797. Your ticket text at 97136. You want to get involved? Let's do it. It's the news of the day. I'm cool with it.